Okay, so today we're going to talk about common logs, natural logs, and change of base. The first thing we're going to talk about is a common log. Now, I told you to get your calculators out. The calculator that you have will work with a common log and what's called a natural log. You see, so far we've had like log base 2, log base 7, log base whatever we've had. You know what I mean? And you, you probably haven't seen that on the calculator. You're like, well, where's my log base 2? Where's my log base? It doesn't have it. Most calculators don't have those logs. What they do have is what's called a common log and a natural log. Now, what makes a common log a common log is because it's the most used type of log. That's why it's called common. And it's simply a logarithm with a base of 10. Why 10? Because 10 is easy to deal with, right? You can take 10 to the fourth and know what that is really quickly. If I say, what's 7 to the fourth? Hear me over. But 10 to the fourth is 10,000. That's it. So, so we use common logs because they're easy to calculate. <clears throat> so what's a common log mean? Well, it's, it's a logarithm with a base of 10. That's it. Logarithm of the base of 10. So here's what our logarithm looks like. It would be a log base 10 of something. Remember how we pronounced that log base 10 of, of something? However, if we if omit that 10, we really don't even see that. This is how it's written. We just write log x. It's so common that if you see a logarithm without a base, what's that base? That's it. So we just say log x or log y. If we say, that's why I said, that's why I made you say like log base whatever first, so that way you don't just say, oh, it's log 3. No, no, no. The log 3 would be log base 10 of 3. We don't even have to say base 10. If you're talking about a logarithm and you don't say the base, it's implied to be a common log or a base 10. How many will feel okay with that? So common log, simply a base 10. Does it work any different than any other log? No. It's the same exact type of log idea. It simply has a, a base 10. By the way, this is the, the log button on your calculator, so I want you to look down at your calculator right now, find the log button. Do you guys see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. This is the log on the calculator. In fact, this will allow you to, to solve some logarithms right here. So let, let's go ahead and try to use your calculator right now. We're going to try to find... log 21. Now, am I miswriting this, or is this appropriate? Okay, so what's the base? 10. So if I don't write it, it's 10. Now, on your calculator, here's what I want you to do. Try this out. Press the log button. So find your log button and just press it. If it gives you an error, if it says error, right, it says, what are you doing to me? That means you have to press the number in first. If it gives you log and then parentheses, you press the number after the log. So some of you will have to press a number first, then log. Others of you will have to press a log first, then the number. So you press log right now. If it gave you an error, punch in 21 and then press log. If it didn't, if it gave you log with parentheses on the screen, now press 21 and press enter. What's it give you? Now you're going to have to round that, right? Because it's not a whole number. It's not, it not, doesn't end. Uh, say that to me one more time. One. That's rounded correctly? Yeah, everything else is just two. Okay, good. So well, here's what that means. What, what's our base again? Ten. So this is what this says. It says 10 to the, remember, that's an exponent. 10 to the 1.32 power is equal to 21. 10 to the 1.32 power equals 21. Are you guys okay with that, that log idea? Why don't you try one more for me? Do log 15. Fifteen. What's that going to be? One point one eight. So we can easily find logarithms base ten on your calculator. Now, will, will your calculators do log base seven, log base two? Most of them won't. Some of them will. Some of the fancy ones do. Uh, but most calculators will just do log base 10 and what's called a natural log. We'll talk about that in just a little while because those are the ones that come up most often in real life. Now, there are some ones that we can do without a calculator. If we look at these,
How about log of 100? Now, of course, we mean log base 10 of 100, but this is what this says. 10 to what power gives you 100? We should be able to think of those without a calculator and do those pretty easily. What 10 to what power would give you 100? So pretty much what power do you need to take 10 to in order to get that, that number right there? Yeah, 2. So even without a calculator, we could, we could do that. Now, will your calculator do it? Yeah, try it. Try log of 100. See if it gives you 2. Did it? Yes. Sure. How about this one? How about uh, log of 1 over 100? Log of 1 over 100. Now, your calculator will still do it, but I'd like you to kind of understand the idea of a logarithm and be able to do these without a calculator. That it, it'll kind of enforce the, the idea, reinforce the idea of, of what logs mean. So this right here, this is asking for what power do you need to raise the base to, which in this case is 10, in order to get 1 over 100. What's that going to be? Negative 2. Negative 2. Sure, 2 would give you the 100. How do I get it on the bottom of fraction? That's that negative exponent. Remember, this is a negative, negative exponent. So 10 to the negative 2, yeah, that gives you 1 over 100. What about log of 10,000? Log of 10,000. It's asking what power do you need to take 10 to in order to get 10,000? Now your log button will do it. You put in 10,000, press log, or log 10,000, it's going to give you what number? Four. It's going to give you 4, because 10 to the 4th would give you 10,000. This, by the way, look, look, how, look at this number that's represented. I mean, we, we go from log 21, it's 1.32, log of 10,000 is only 4. That's not a very wide range of numbers, is it? Because we're dealing with base 10, that, that grows very quickly. This is why those people back in the day used to use logarithms so much, because they could represent big numbers with very small numbers, do the math on it, and translate it back. That was one way you could do math back then, especially with like computations of huge, huge numbers. Okay, very good. And last one, let's do log of the cube root of 10. Log of the cube root of 10. Can you think of what that one's going to be? Remember, our base is 10 here. If I don't write something, it's, the base is 10. What power do you need to raise 10 to in order to get the cube root of 10? What do you think? One. Sure, why? Well, cube root is, is what type of power? One. Is that a true statement? Is 10 to the 1 third equal to the cube root of 10? Yeah, yeah. Then you got it right. Yeah, that's all we're doing here is figuring out what x you need to raise 10 to. That's for our common logs. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and do one more. You can also solve some of these logarithms. Let's say we had log of x equals 2.9. Can we solve for x? If you remember me talking about the introduction of logarithms and exponentials, I said that logarithms are an inverse of an exponential. That means an Exponential is an inverse of a logarithm. That means in order to solve logarithms, you need an exponential. In order to solve exponentials, you need logarithms. Unless you can find common bases, which is actually pretty rare. Uh, that's the only way I've showed you so far. The next section will show you how to deal with exponentials when you don't have common bases. We're going to need logarithms to do that. So in order to solve a logarithm, you need to be able to write this as an exponential. That, that's a key thing. That's why we spent so much time doing it. What's your base here, folks? Good. What's your exponent here, ladies and gentlemen? And what's that supposed to equal? Okay, so we're going to write that out. So you need to write this as an exponential. Yeah, you said the base was 10 and the exponent was 2.9, and that was supposed to equal x. Would you raise your hand if you're okay getting from here to here, ladies and gentlemen? Raise your hand if you are. Okay, that should be kind of something we should be very solid on at this point, going back and forth between these things. That was a few sections ago, that's why we spent so much time on it. Now, how in the world are we going to raise 10 to the 2.9 power? Oh my gosh. Well, there's two ways you can do it. On your calculator right now, you press the 10 button, you find your exponent button. It either looks like this, it's a little exponent button right there, it looks like this, x to the y, it could look like this, y to the x, or you could have little boxes, like that. That's your exponent button. So for that button, you'd press 10, one of these, 2.9, and then press enter. 
You should get something over 100. 794. 794. So, so between 100 and, and 1,000 there. 794? Mm -hmm. Is that even? No. no. Okay, give me the decimals too. You need, you need that. Were you able to find the 7, whatever it was? Okay. There's also another option for you. I want you to look above the log button on your calculator. Look above the log button. Do you see the 10 to the X? Mm -hmm. Those things are tied together. Why is 10 to the X and log go together? Well, because those are inverse operations. One's the exponential and one's the logarithm. Base 10, base 10. That's why they're tied together. So if you wanted to do this a, a slightly easier way, slightly uh, quicker way, you could plug in 2.9, press the shift button or the second button, then press log. <clears throat> or you might have to do that the other way. Press second, then log, then 2.9. But it should give you exactly the same number, did it? Good. Well, if you, if you guys found that. If not, if you're having trouble with your calculator, see me after class. See me in the math lab in my office. I'll be happy to show you that. It takes about five seconds for me to show you. One more time on that number. What was it? Seven? Seven. Four. Three. 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 log of x equals 3.4. We'll be walking around for just a minute if you need help on your calculator, raise your hand. Okay, looks like just about everybody's got it here. If we're going to solve logarithms again, you must absolutely have exponentials. So that means you need to be able to write these logarithms as exponentials. Your base, of course, is 10 in this case. That's because it's a common log. We've got 3.4 as our exponent, and that equals x. So it simply comes down to can you raise 10 to the 3.4 power? That's going to be somewhere over 1,000, somewhere between 1,000 and 10,000. So if we do that on your calculator, there's two ways. I told you both ways. How much are you going to get? How much? 2511.8. Would you raise your hand if you were able to get that in your calculator? Good deal. Good. If you didn't bring a calculator today, you're going to need one. Okay, don't forget to bring your calculators. Now, there's one application that's kind of cool. Have you guys ever heard of the Richter scale? Yes. What's the Richter scale deal with? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, the Richter scale deals with earthquakes. Now, if I say to you, to, to you uh, this, this question, uh, is a 4.0 earthquake powerful? Not really. It's right on the medium. Okay, so would you feel it? Yeah. Is it going to destroy your house? No. How about a 6? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How about a 7? Yeah. Uh, yes. So wait a second. You're saying a 6 is, but a 7 is really powerful? Yeah. But that's only one point. Does that mean it's one times more powerful? Does it mean it's twice as powerful? What's it actually mean? Do you, do you know? No, you don't know because you're, you're like, well, I've heard that like a six, yeah, it's okay, it might shake some stuff, but 8.5 is going to level your house, right? Because 8.5 pretty much destroyed uh, that, that Haiti, right? gone. No more, no more houses, right? Nine, a 10.0, oh my gosh, 10.0, there'd be nothing left. I mean, nothing like, why is a, a 5.0 not even really feelable, but a 10.0 would destroy everything that you can even see, and it's only twice as much? Does it mean it's 